Hello and welcome to our Social Hackers Academy Info Session. During this event, we will welcome students from all over the world who are interested in joining our career track. As you know, we are Social Hackers Academy, a nonprofit organization that supports people from vulnerable backgrounds who want to learn code. Do you want to know how you can join our academy? Then keep on watching. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hello. If you want, guys, you can turn on your cameras and your microphones if you feel comfortable. And maybe you can introduce yourself. It will be great to know if you feel more comfortable as well to write it on the chat. We will wait a little bit uh, more to join more people, to have more people here, but feel free to leave some comments. I, I see we have uh, a few Lithuanians here. So really nice to see you guys. Uh, I'm actually myself a Lithuanian, so love us. <laughs> okay, I guess it's the... Uh, Simona is a Lithuanian name huh? and yes. surname, I guess. Okay. Uh, so maybe you can introduce yourself through the chat and say where you are connecting from. Like, um, you know, I will start by. I'm Kostas. I'm the head of education here at Social Hackers Academy. So let us know where are you connecting from. Uh, you can open the chat. I think maybe Robert is trying to connect as well. I continue with Costas. I am Maria and I'm head of marketing for SHA. And I give as well some room for Vaida to introduce herself. Um, yeah, hello. Um, I am Vaida. I work in business development for Social Hackers Academy. So we might use SHA, which is a shortened version of Social Hackers Academy. Okay. Uh, hello, Emilia, I guess, if I'm pronouncing it right. Oh. We got a lot of people from Lithuania. Mm. Nice. Great. Um, how are you guys? How is your day? I know it's really cold now in Lithuania. <laughs> I... Hello, Robert. Uh, Robert, where are you uh, currently uh, connecting from? Where are you living? Uh, I'm connecting from Kipa City, Anthem is here. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> so I joined last week and I was given the connection and the way forward. Great, great. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome, thanks to meet you guys. Nice to, to meet you too. Welcome, Robert. Robert. It would be interesting to hear how did you find out about this uh, info session? Uh, actually, my friend, yeah, my friend, yeah, is doing web development. Mm -hmm. Oh, is uh, is studying? Uh, uh, is it front? Sorry, I'm not. Uh, I'm not quite sure about it, but uh, is doing uh, is doing front end, mm -hmm. and. Um, I was interested in uh, web development, so I talked to him and he connected me to you guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, where is he currently studying front-end development? Uh, uh, he's studying, he's currently studying with you guys. Ah, okay. What's his name? Uh, Kato Elvis. Ah, okay. <laughs> Elvis, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, so I contacted him and he told me they will be 
uh, recruiting, mm -hmm. maybe Mars, maybe to come. So uh, uh, I joined. Uh, I joined one organization from UK. So uh, they guided me. I was like starting, but I'm not sure of where to start. So mm -hmm. he told me, uh, uh, he told me that I have to join you to mm -hmm. catch up with everything. Otherwise I'll be, uh, I'll be not, I'll, I will be not be able to know what's going on unless I join social affairs academy. So that's how I connected and I started my journey. That's good. Great. Thank you so much, Robert. Great, Sorry. great. And you're on the right place. Um, hello, everyone. I see just listening. OK. Yeah. So far, we're not receiving any more uh, people joining. So if you want, as we have waited this first five minutes, uh, we can start. So Robert, we will be able, Robert and all of you, to give you a little bit more information about what we do and um, how you can join us and so on. So uh, if you're ready uh, to start, please feel free to uh, write any questions you might have in the chat or addresses, address it to us. We will collect all of them. And at the end of the session, we will be able to discuss, uh, talk about them or um, whatever is needed. I'm going to share a document that it's going to be kind of a live document where you will be able to see uh, different things that Costas will be writing while he explains. So for the ones who have uh, arrived uh, later, I am Maria and uh, I'm part of the team of Social Hackers Academy. Same as Costas, who's our head of education and as well Vida. Uh, and uh, we're going to structure this event in a very simple way. I will tell you a little bit about what Social Ac Hackers Academy does. Then Costas will, get, uh, will give you some information about what we are doing in terms of education. So you will get to know what you will be learning and how you can learn it. And finally, Vaida will give you some information about the tech industry, some myths, and some other uh, valued information that uh, you, might, uh, you might need uh, to know before joining us. So again, if you have any questions, please feel free to share it here. If you want to discuss anything, even if you think it's out of topic, it's super welcome to discuss it there. So. Uh, let me go first through the presentation that I would like to share with you. I think you can see it now. And as you know, this is our info session about Social Hackers Academy. So who are we? Let me know if you can see properly the presentation. Uh, I don't know. Mar Maria, I cannot see your screen. Uh, Vaida, can you? No, I cannot. You yeah. cannot? It, it's, uh, it says that Maria Gonzalez has started screen setting, but for some Thank reason you. we cannot like... Um... Can you see it now? No. Uh, maybe uh, you can share it on... Uh, uh, you can send it and I can open it and share my screen probably. Sure. Uh, I don't uh, know, maybe this uh, is a Zoom glitch or... It, we, we could also not see your camera, so maybe there's um... mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So at some point... See if we... I can share it. Costas, I will share it with you on Slack. Mm -hmm. so that you can open it there directly. And I can go to it very quickly. Um, so as you can see, we're real hackers. We always find our way out. Exactly. Um, even if we already tried to test it all this, <laughs> that everything was working for it. Okay, <laughs> let me um, share my screen then. Thank you so much, Kosta. Okay, and I hope that we will be able to uh, let me know if we can see the slides. All good. Okay, great. So just give me a tick, Maria, so that I can move on to the next slide. Okay, funny enough, I cannot see it. 
so guys, it will be great to know if you can if you can see this. If not, uh, I will try to share with you a link so that you can actually see the whole thing. Can you? I, I, you I think we can we can see it. Uh, yes. Just just say uh, tell me about the the page of the slide, and Perfect. I will move uh, on to the as you as you also browse through the slides. Sounds good. Okay, so um, firstly, as you know, we wanted to introduce you what Social Hackers Academy does, so we can go to the second slide. And we have a clear mission. So our idea is that we want to democratize the access to tech education and also the tech labor market. It doesn't only go to the education level, we also want to um, increase the employability. We follow, if we go to the next slide, uh, the, the UN Sustainable Deve Development Goals in different, in different ways all across our, our programs. And if we go to our next slide, we, we would like to go or show you which are our main programs. We have one career track, which is probably the one that you are most interested here, which is our front end web development. Here, Costas will be able to go and guide you through it and uh, give you more information about everything that you will learn. But we are working on other programs. So as we want to democratize the, the access to tech education, we're not only offering this, but also programs like, for example, supporting uh, women or other vulnerable groups that uh, we work with with other partners. In which other ways are we offering as well the access to tech education? Uh, we are a nonprofit organization that is also offering courses uh, that can be in a paid base. But these courses are very cheap when it comes when you compare it to the to our competitors. And uh, with the money that uh, some people or the ones who decide to put on this, we will always uh, use this money to fund new scholarships. So, who are we currently supporting for the scholarships that we are given for the, for the uh, career tracks, these front and web development courses that we are offering right now for our next cohort, which starts on March 19th. We are supporting refugees, asylum seekers, migrants, and unemployed people. So if you are part of any of these four groups and you can, submit this information, you can get a uh, scholarship to participate within our next cohort. What is needed to, to be able to be part of it? You will need to submit uh, your information through, your, your, uh, through a link that we call the eligibility form that we will be sharing in this chat and also in the uh, doc uh, Google form that we have shared with you in this chat so that you can refer to that. And once uh, you apply with all the information, we will confirm that you are eligible for this scholarship. You will have to do a uh, record yourself within an interview. And after that, you will receive a link uh, where you will get a course, a pre-course as we call, to test some of your uh, abilities within technology. Uh, and after that, you're welcome to the course. So if we move forward to our next slide, after all this information, I'd like to share with you some of our social impact in numbers. We have been doing this for a while and uh, we have welcomed over 152 students to our courses and uh, our employability within all our programs, all the programs that we have been part Part of is 67%. So 67% of all our graduates have found a job with us. We uh, are investing a lot of teaching hours. Costas can really tell you about this as he's part of it. We're doing a lot of live sessions. We're organizing a lot of events. We have a great group of mentors and um, volunteer teachers who will be supporting you um, during your journey. And something else that we are doing as well is we have, uh, we're partnering with some tech companies so that first you can get some tips in order um, to know how to get uh, a job in a more efficient way and more quickly. And uh, well, they are also hiring our students. Right now we have 21 companies 
that uh, SHA, uh, SHA, Social Hackers Academy students are working in there. So we go to the final slide. You will be able to see uh, some of the companies that we have partnered with. They have supported us uh, in a way economically so that we can make these scholarships available for, for the groups that we mentioned. And also uh, to uh, support um, our students and offer them, in some cases, a job. So finally, in the last slide, you can have our uh, email address if you have any question that maybe is not solved here or maybe that you can think of later on. And uh, on my side, this is it. Uh, so now it's time for Costas to explain a little bit more about what we will be providing. And after Costas, we will have Vitas time. So thank you guys. I'm looking forward to receive your questions. So uh, as you can see my screen um, in the Google document where we have like placed the, the link on the chat, I will paste this email address. So you can find the, the links, uh, the link, and you can uh, send us an email. But as we um, walk you uh, through the process, you will see that there is a special uh, web page for that. But uh, for any case, um, in any case, you can always also contact us through this email. Um, I don't know if there are any questions up to this point. Let us know, and we will be checking the chat. Um, thank you, Maria. Um, so I think I can um, uh, talk a little bit about our uh, main course, uh, which is the front end, uh, front end web development course. I will put the um, web page that talks a little bit more about the course. And uh, you can see like um, the syllabus and also download the syllabus uh, as a PDF. So uh, I will just write the link here. Uh, in case you want to, and I think you need to check it out. So um, the front-end web development course um, is a six plus one uh, month course, meaning that uh, once joined, you will be you will spend uh, six months in training. Uh, you will learn about the basics uh, and also uh, intermediate and advanced concepts of front-end web development. A little bit about front-end development in a while, uh, and once you you um, um, finish, you complete your six months of uh, training, you'll have one extra month to work on a single individual project. So you will be combining all the knowledge that you gained and all the experience and uh, combine all the concepts and the technologies to build a, uh, an application that you will submit. Uh, it will be evaluated, reviewed, and then you will get your certificate. Uh, so it's in total seven months. Uh, from this page, you can download um, the curriculum. I will open this PDF in a new tab just to see uh, the course. Uh, so you can see a little bit about the, um, the contents, how many weeks you must spend on uh, its uh, section, on its course, uh, sorry, on its uh, lesson. Um, but I will go back to the website, which is a much nicer view. Uh, so before diving into like the, the contents of this course, I will talk a little bit about what web development is and what front-end web development is. So uh, I will just uh, explain it in, in very simple words, uh, just to give you an overview. Uh, whenever we're talking about the web, uh, we're talking about the time when we open the browser and we connect to a website. So um, every time we open the browser, the, web, the browser is also called a web browser or a web client. Uh, we're connecting to a computer, a web server, and we're downloading a web page, uh, which you can actually see on the browser. So everything, on, everything that goes on 
inside your web browser. Um, it's actually part of what we call the, the web or the World Wide Web. Uh, there are millions of computers out there that serve web content, they serve web pages. We connect to these web servers through our browsers and we download and see and interact with these um, web pages. So becoming a web developer uh, means that we can actually create these websites and these web pages and um, uh, so that users and, and customers and clients and people can interact and uh, uh, spend their, their time on the web looking for uh, information and enjoying uh, through uh, services like Netflix or YouTube. Now, um, this, is web this is the web and web development is the process of actually learning how to program, how to create these websites. What is the front end part? For this, I'm going to, to uh, give you a short diagram here. So uh, the web, uh, when we're uh, talking about the web, you can think of our computer. Uh, so I will draw here, let's say a web browser, <coughs> a small computer just to, so let's say here is my computer and I open up a web browser. I write, uh, for example, Social Hacker Academy. I write an address, SH Social Hackers Academy dot org. Um, I Google or I, I write the address here. And then immediately the browser uh, through this address tries to find another computer which acts as a web server. So we have a computer somewhere on the internet that uh, lives on this address, on the Social Hackers Academy address. And then when I connect via the browser to this web server, so we have here the web browser. This is also known as the client. I will try to make this as big as possible. And then we have the web server. So when, when, whenever we, we connect through the browser to a uh, domain, to an um, address, we're actually connecting to a web server. And that web server returns back a file, which is written, uh, it's actually code. So you can think of this as lines of code. And uh, this web page uses several web technologies. So we have uh, web, web technologies uh, such as, let me, uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, JS for short. So we have a, a, a file containing code that instructs the browser, once we have downloaded this file, these lines of code, these three programming languages, uh, instruct the browser to display uh, the content. So this code is actually instructions on how and what to show on the browser, like uh, windows, images, buttons, uh, animations, and all other uh, sorts of widgets and content that we see on the web. So uh, this, uh, let's say this whole thing, if you are like involved in creating uh, uh, web pages and websites, you are becoming a web developer. So uh, let me just, so this is web development. Whenever we deal with these technologies, we're talking about web development, either creating websites and applications for the browser. Now, uh, there is a what uh, the, the web development is split into the back end and the front end. So I will just write here back end and I will place it here and the front end here. Uh, so, web development in general is concerned about creating all these web applications, all these services everything that goes on in the browser or on the web server. If we draw a line here, uh, 
and we will draw this line that uh, splits the two parts and we have the back end and the front end the back end is the web development that goes on with everything that happens on the web server we have programming languages databases other things and software running on the web server and where we are involved with this part uh, we are called backend developers. So we're web developers, but mainly backend developers. Whenever we work with what is uh, being created and is being shown on the browser, so whenever we use these three languages that make up all the web pages that you see, we are called frontend developers. So a frontend developer uh, is mainly working with uh, the web pages that we see on the browser. Everything that you see right here, this is a web page. This was created by front-end developer. This website was created by front-end developer. Also, our site was created by our front-end developers. So everything that we see uh, whenever we open a website uh, is actually front-end. So this is the part that you will be involved in um, if you uh, apply and join our course. So as one quick thing before uh, mm -hmm. you continue, uh, can you please check if you are receiving any more participants? We're receiving some comments on social media saying that uh, more people are trying to join, but I'm not receiving anything. So before mm -hmm. we continue digging a little bit further on uh, on what front end and everything that we will be able to learn, let's mm -hmm. see if you get uh, no, no, I'm not getting uh, because I'm I'm not the host. So maybe um, we can uh, maybe someone can send the uh, Zoom link just for to make sure. So yeah. yes, it's maybe like that is not uh, working. But anyway, let's continue then. Uh, now that we know that on your side we're not receiving anything else. Sorry to. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no problem. Uh, so since you are the host, you will be uh, seeing people. Um, so if you're not seeing, then uh, maybe they're missing the link. Um, so I'm, I'm getting back to the front end. Uh, this is what we want uh, to make out of you. We want you to be able to create all these beautiful uh, web pages and websites that you see. Uh, in case you have any questions uh, while I describe uh, and explain about our course or these technologies, let me know. I will be, uh, we will be checking the chat. Um, now let's go through the um, curriculum just by looking at um, uh, a few of the main sections. Uh, so the curriculum um, is comprised of these sections. We will be mainly involved with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the three main languages that make up all the web pages, all the websites that we see. These are the three main languages that we use to create websites and web applications. Uh, we have web development one-on-one. So in the beginning, in the first um, few weeks, you will be diving into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, this is an introductory course, an, an introductory section. So we, you will learn a little bit about the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You will be able to create your first web pages, run your code, um, uh, create a few simple games and a few applications. So you will have some basic knowledge of how we create uh, websites. Then you will move on once again to see HTML and CSS uh, languages in detail. So in, in this uh, section, you will be diving even deeper to these two uh, languages. We use HTML to create, uh, uh, to structure our content, meaning to put the text out there, the images, uh, everything that we, uh, that make up the material, the content, let's say, of our website. And we use CSS to style the content, meaning colors, sizes, fonts, uh, animations, and all the fancy stuff, let's say, the, the, that add this uh, uh, extra style. And then uh, once you get a good understanding of HTML and CSS, we will go into JavaScript, which is a programming language that runs on the browser. And with JavaScript, you have full power over your websites. Uh, you can create games, you can create uh, web applications, you can create websites, uh, you can create applications like uh, Trello or uh, Spreadsheets or Google Docs or uh, Google Maps or YouTube or whatever. 
uh, JavaScript gives you full power um, over the browser. And so we will be spending a lot of time in JavaScript. Then we're going to go and see uh, different JavaScript libraries, meaning other people's code that helps us um, develop uh, applications even uh, faster. Uh, and then we move on to the frameworks, which is pretty much the same. This is also um, uh, uh, these are also uh, code. This is also code written in CSS or in JavaScript. Other people's code that we can use to make the development even faster. Uh, create complex applications like Facebook, for example, but uh, in an easier and a more structured and orga organized and, and efficient way. Uh, one of the frameworks that we uh, use and we teach is the React.js framework. Um, this is a JavaScript framework that was created by Facebook and it's used all over the web right now. Um, and then, um, as the last part, we will be talking about um, a software architecture, also known uh, as the serverless architecture, uh, which is about using certain services uh, to connect with your website, with your web page, so that you can store, for example, information uh, about your users, uh, store, for example, the, their comments, store their, uh, their likes uh, or the, uh, uh, their interactions or the uh, submitted input that they might uh, send through your application. And um, uh, combining all these uh, programming languages and these technologies together, you will be able to create uh, fully functional applications or websites that can do uh, anything you, you can imagine. And even though we won't be uh, uh, working with backend languages and backend technologies. Um, this, um, this last chapter will enable you to uh, use certain services uh, and, and uh, have uh, almost exactly the same functionality uh, without having to learn a backend language. Uh, this is a short overview of the, um, of the course. Now, uh, how do we find ourselves uh, enrolling on the course? The, um, uh, the, the educational platform, the, our online platform for the students is, uh, can be found in this address. It's called the Athena platform. So I will be placing this uh, This is where you will be spending most of your time. Now, the first time that you enter this page, you will see this screen and you have like three options. You can either log in if you have an account. Uh, you can take a look at the available courses. So I will click and open this on a new tab just to take a look. You will see uh, the two available courses at this point, which is the front end uh, development course we were talking about and the pre-course which is your ticket to the front-end development. So before uh, starting the front-end development, you must go through this short uh, course, this pre-course, uh, learn some basics about programming, uh, do, uh, submit some exercises. And then once you complete this pre-course, you will be able to enroll on the front-end development. Once you have like um, your uh, ticket to the front-end development, then you can start uh, 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 diving into front-end development. Now, how do we get uh, ourselves enrolled? Uh, at this point, you cannot log in because you don't have an account. You have to register. So you will go here on this page and I will paste the link here. Pre-course, how to apply for the front-end dev course so this is the way that you should this is the first step in order to apply and uh, enroll for the front-end development course uh, in this page uh, you will read some information about the process um, you have to spend some time to to read a little bit about the, the process 
At this pre-course, um, the first thing you must do is to check if you are eligible for a scholarship. So if you belong to a vulnerable group, the groups that Maria mentioned earlier, if you are a refugee, a migrant, if you are unemployed and uh, are part of this group, you will uh, probably have the uh, ability to get a scholarship. Otherwise, you will have to um, uh, go through the paid uh, uh, track uh, to pay for your course. So in this page, you will first have to check this link. I'm opening all the links in a new tab, uh, but you will be redirected to the page. So you, you will go, you will find yourself in this page. This is the eligibility form. So another link for you. First, check to see if you are eligible for a scholarship. So this would be the link. Uh, first, you will go through these steps uh, and check uh, each step to see if you are uh, if you eventually are able to attend. Um, one of the prerequisites for uh, for being eligible for this course and the scholarship is that uh, you must not work over 20 hours per week. This is a course, this is an intensive course, uh, and you have to spend at least three to four hours per day. Uh, so this means that if, if you are working full time, first of all, you do not belong to uh, what we call vulnerable groups, but you won't have the time and uh, you won't be able to give the effort that's required to complete the course. So you will go through this form. If you get to, uh, uh, if you find yourself at the final uh, step, uh, you are eligible for this course, uh, you will send us your details, your personal details. Uh, we will receive this form and then we will um, uh, uh, be notified about your uh, submission. At that point, when you reach the end of this process and you are found to be uh, yourself to be eligible for the course, you will have to do one more step, one last step, which is to go through an uh, online interview. Uh, it's, a, it's an automated interview. It's not uh, a live interview. Uh, uh, can you mute your mute your microphone? Uh, yeah, 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 just a second, just a second. Thank you. Thank you. So once you you reach the end of this uh, of this eligibility uh, form steps, uh, you will have to um, you will be given a link. You will go to a website and you will be asked a few questions. This will not be a live interview. There will be some questions on the website. Uh, you will open your camera and then um, say a few things about yourself and about why you want to enroll. Uh, talk a little bit about your background and uh, your plans about the future so that we know uh, why you're interested about this course and uh, learn a little bit more about you. Once you finish this automated uh, interview is just a couple of minutes. It's not uh, like uh, really uh, big. Um, we will evaluate, we will review this uh, interview. You must complete the interview as soon as possible. So once you receive the link, please go ahead and in the next two to three days, complete the interview. You will get back a feedback from the school. If everything looks good, you will be uh, uh, enrolled on the pre-course, you will receive an email with your account, and then you will start um, the pre-course. This means that you will start uh, this uh, course, uh, and this course contains an introduction to programming with Python. Python is one of the uh, very, uh, let's say, beginner-friendly programming languages. Um, it's an easy to follow uh, course. You would not need more than a month to uh, even less than a month to complete the course. So you will go through this course, learn a little bit about the basics of programming, what programming is, how we can display, let's say, a hello world program on the screen, um, how we could use some uh, types to display numbers, to do uh, arithmetic operations. and 
you will have to, you will get a first uh, uh, taste of what, let's say, programming is, and you will get acquainted and become familiar with some basic programming uh, concepts. Once you finish this pre-course, it means that you are ready for the front-end uh, full course. You're ready to uh, start your front-end development course. Uh, armed with the knowledge of uh, this pre-course, uh, armed with the knowledge of basic programming skills, you will be uh, uh, getting a, um, an email saying that you are now enrolled on the front-end development and you can start your, um, your journey into uh, becoming a front-end a front developer. Now, this pre-course is something that you should uh, complete on your own. You shouldn't need more than a month for this. Uh, and once you are ready for the front-end development course, you will wait for the date where the uh, course starts. Uh, Maria mentioned the next cohort will start on uh, March 19. And at that point, you will be uh, getting uh, more, uh, you'll be getting an email with uh, your uh, login credentials and you will be able to go and start the front-end development. And for the next six months, you will be spending your days um, learning how to become, uh, become a front-end web developer. Um, this is where you will be logging in every day. Uh, this is where all the lessons uh, are, uh, can be found. And you um, will have access to this course. I will log in as a test student for now. So once logged in, once you have an account, you can start your journey. Uh, you will not be alone in this journey, meaning that you will part. You will be part of a cohort of um, 20 to 30 students. You will be part of a group. So um, each cohort is um, made up of um, smaller groups, uh, teams. So you will be part of a team and you will be working along with your team for uh, team projects, for presentations, for uh, solving exercises, for meeting on a weekly basis. So uh, you will have like a full schedule, a full weekly schedule. Um, and along with your uh, classmates, you, with your uh, fellow students and the instructors, you will go through this uh, course step by step. I will open up the first lesson. And you will start with your first lesson. Uh, you will be introduced to the course, What, how this course works, what can help you into um, getting uh, the, the best out of it and what tools you might want to, to use. And once you finish each step, you will have to uh, complete a quiz most of the times and then move on to the next lesson. So this is a step-by-step -step process, meaning that you have to complete each lesson, uh, submit a quiz or do an exercise and then um, click to go on the um, on the next uh, lesson. Um, and um, the, um, uh, how, the, how the class uh, works uh, is that you will be uh, attending weekly uh, online meetings with your uh, classmates. So two to three times per week, uh, you will be connecting with your classmates and you will be working on exercises. You will be discussing about the lesson, about the material. You will asking and uh, answering questions. So this will be a team effort. Um, and this means that you have, you must have time on your hands. And you must be, you must have a team spirit uh, and you must learn how to collaborate and work with your team and also with uh, the rest of the, uh, the cohort. Um, apart from this uh, uh, online platform, most of the communication happens through a, uh, an online platform called Slack. So Slack is, um, is an application. Here is just a, a short screen. 
um, is like a, a messaging, let's say, a platform, but you will find different channels where you can discuss about different things. Uh, you will have your own team channel. Uh, you will have your class channel. Uh, you can connect directly with the, your classmates, with your team, with the instructors, uh, with people from the school that uh, will be there to help you. So you will never be alone. Um, you will uh, always be uh, present on the platform, on the Slack and on the Athena platform. And um, we will be providing all the support uh, that you can get to uh, go through the course, complete the course, submit your uh, project, and then uh, graduate. So as you can see, there are a lot of things happening. You will be spending most of your day into uh, either Slack or on the Athena platform. And, and uh, at the end, you will eventually uh, graduate, you will get your certificate and you will be able to continue your journey there uh, and start looking for a, uh, for a job as a uh, front-end developer. Um, so let's pause um, at this point for any questions. Let us know through the chat or you can unmute yourself if you want to ask something. So far, we're not receiving any questions, but feel free to uh, let us know if you have any questions about how to start the process um, or um, any of the information that uh, Costas shared with us. Let's wait a little bit more just in case someone is thinking or we are digesting all this information that we already have. Just as a reminder to everyone, I was, our next cohort starts on March 19th, which means that you have uh, the right time to start this process uh, based on what Costas uh, mentioned on how long it takes you to do the whole uh, process in terms of Firstly, uh, joining our, our eligibility form link. You can find it in our in the document that Costas has is sharing right now on the screen. Uh, once you complete uh, the information there, you will receive an email asking you to do an interview. You will have to go through that. And after it, you will receive the pre-course um, that will lead you once you have finished it to uh, get the scholarship and to join us. Um, so far, I don't think we're getting any questions. Um, yes, let me uh, uh, see if we can have uh, anything to add. Um, the, the course will be, uh, of course, in English because we have people from all around the world. Uh, so the material, the content, the curriculum is uh, in English and um, all the communication that happens either live, online or through Slack is in English. Uh, we're trying to find resources for other languages, but this is just complementary material. Um, so students from different countries uh, contribute uh, whenever they find the video that helps them in their native language. We add these uh, uh, videos and these resources on the curriculum, but uh, the, the main part is in English. And um, And I don't know if you have like, um, if you have any questions or you would like to share something about your interest. I mean, why are you interested in web development? Uh, what you think or hope to get out of it? Um, what's your current background and why you want to move on to um, like, uh, and become a, a front developer? Maybe where you heard about 
for development or social hacks academy. Uh, and also, uh, actually, if you, in this case, you don't really have a question, but you would like to ask something later, maybe something pops into your head, maybe you will have some questions whilst you will be doing the pre-course, feel free to connect with us. So maybe Costas, you could write an email or, or where actually the students could uh, right if they have some questions afterwards. So we are really, really open to any questions at any time. So please, please contact if you have any doubts or questions. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I think you can, you can reach us through the admissions email and you can even ask us uh, questions um, regarding the, the admission process and the, the, the steps that you are required to take. So, um, our admission officer will, will help you with uh, any questions you might have. Um, on the main site, uh, let me, uh, I will also put the, the link to our um, main site. Um, our main website. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. I have also pasted the email here in the chat, just in case you have any mm -hmm. questions, and I will be repeating it from time to time so that you all have access to it. Okay, uh, Robert says, uh, why have I have reached the stage of recording a video? So maybe to wait to know more. I'm not sure I understand, Robert, uh, what you're referring to. Uh, are you currently on a pre-course, on a pre-course? Or ah, you're about to take the automated interview, I guess. Uh, so if you're asking if you need to go through the automated interview, yes, you should like uh, as soon as possible. Uh, on our main website, we have like a chat assistant where you can send your message. So, uh, most of the day, most of the time, uh, or at least during working hours, you can have, uh, you can find a live person talking to you. So you can ask any questions through our main website, through this um, assistant. If we are offline, uh, we will receive your message, of course, and we can get back to you. So feel free to leave your email and your questions here. So that's also another uh, channel through which you can reach to us. You can also check us out on our social media. So we are very active on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, so you can always drop us a message there. And if you want to learn more about web development programming, we are very active in posting interesting facts and stories and news about what's happening in the organization. So feel free to check us out on social media as well. Um, and um, on top of the like the regular courses, uh, we also try to find uh, guest lecturers, uh, programmers, developers, or even people from other fields uh, that um, will be presenting uh, various um, uh, material. Uh, uh, they will be maybe um, showing some new concepts, some new uh, technical skills, uh, or they will be um, uh, sharing their experience from their workplace. Uh, maybe they can help you like how you can uh, get a job, how we can you can create your LinkedIn profile. Um, so there will be also uh, a lot of guest lectures happening during the, the course. Um, so that's uh, something that's also um, interesting. We're also starting a podcast uh, that is actually going to be regu regular. And if you want to learn when this events or this podcast are going to happen, you, you can find all this information in our social media channels. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, maybe uh, I can go ahead now and uh, talk about a few things. Sounds good. Yes,
Okay, great. Great, guys. I hope you are doing well. And uh, I hope the, all this new information is not scaring you. Uh, so I would like to talk a little bit about the tech industry and a little bit more about uh, the programmer's profession. So I will share my screen with you. Okay. Uh, so uh, web developers uh, really have a lot of myths surrounding them. So many people think that if you're a web developer, you're just stranded in a small room and solving mathematical problems and just being alone and working alone. However, this is really, really not true. And this is just one of the myths that we have. So here are some other myths that people think that makes a good programmer. People think that you have to be good at math, that you know it doesn't really communication doesn't really matter because you're working by yourself. However, this is not true. Actually, one of the most important things for a good programmer is soft skills. And that is what even the hiring managers are telling you. So when you are trying to, to become a programmer, when you're learning all these hard skills, when you're learning all the, all the code, don't forget that communication is equally important. And 91% of hiring managers actually tell how important it is. Many even tell that it is more important how well you can work in a team, how well you can communicate, then how much code you can actually write. So also programming is actually a creative role because you will be solving problems and, and solving problems in a creative way is a really, really important skill. So you will be using a lot of creativity in your programming profession. Okay, um, so, Okay, uh, then, but in terms of the tech industry, we have there one pro problem, which is a chicken and egg dilemma. Here I'm talking about the traditional education system. What is chicken and egg? So what, we don't know what appeared first, chicken or egg. How could egg appear if there was no chicken? So here we have a similar problem with the, with the tech industry and with the traditional education. So candidates need to have proof of their practical skills in order to be employed, but they can only get those practical skills once they are employed. And this was what happens when you are taking these traditional education uh, uh, systems uh, many, many times. And that's what we really try to focus on in Social Hackers Academy is to really be industry focus and to make sure that we are teaching you in a way that is actually going to be needed by tech companies. So once you actually graduate from a course, you're going to be ready to start your career as a junior developer. You will have those projects prepared. You will have a portfolio and you will have an experience to showcase. Not only working, not only those technical skills, but also we really, really focus on, um, on building your soft skills. So as, as Costas mentioned, you will be working in teams, you will be teaching each other. And actually when you teach other person, you can learn so much better. And uh, that's what we really try to, uh, to emphasize in a Social Hackers Academy. And then I will also wanted to show you some of the other alternatives that you maybe, uh, you know, maybe considered in the past um, and uh, so basically, if you wanted to become a, a web developer, and if you didn't go through Social Hackers Academy, you have some other ways. Uh, so first, it is private coding schools. So the problem with private coding schools is they're often very, very expensive. They, some of them can even be 10,000 euros. Well, it's really a lot of money and many people cannot afford it. Also, often many of them have very uh, mixed uh, feedback and really not good quality. So that can also be a problem. Then you can go, if you don't want to pay a lot of money to websites like Udemy, where you can literally get a course for 15 euros. Well, 15 euros is not a lot of money, but the problem with these online courses is that you're going to be learning by yourself and you will not 
And it's really, really hard to stay accountable when you're learning by yourself. So that's why around 95% of people drop out of the course before they even finish it. They're, and peer-to-peer -peer learning, working in a team is crucial, is crucial, crucial. That, that's why we're doing it so much in Social Hackers Academy. Then another path that you can take is universities. Well, the problem here is what I mentioned before is that it's not industry focused. When you are a graduate from university, when you're going to start a job in as a web developer in a company, it's going to be completely different from how you were learning at a university. Also, it takes so many years. So uh, that is some of the other options that that are out there uh, that I wanted to to mention you. Okay, another thing that uh, well, I talked about it is that it's in general about the the finding the job. So because obviously uh, after you graduate, of course, you will want to get a job. And actually at Social Hackers Academy, our main goal for you guys is to find a job. So we will be uh, really, really helping you and supporting you or along the way there, there is an employability officer that is going to be uh, actually uh, answering any of your questions, helping you to write your CV. We also have constantly events and mentors that are going to helping you. And even after you graduate, of course, we'll still be working with technology companies will be connecting you. And we also have created a hiring platform, which is a platform where basically you will be able to uh, basically write down your profiles. And then we invite tech companies to check your profiles and basically to, to hopefully help you get employed. So basically that is, that is what we really, really focus on. And uh, here, uh, according to the stats, as you can see, the web developers need is really, really growing. The salaries are also really, really growing. So it's a good career choice to take. Uh, then I wanted to talk about um, the mindset. So, so basically, um, not only uh, the skills are important. What is really, really important is your determination and desire. The pre-course is not easy. The course is not easy. Being a web developer is not gonna, gonna be easy either. So you will need this um, a mindset that, that's going to help you go through it. We have seen many amazing student journeys where they went from not knowing anything about programming, where they really were in a difficult situation in their lives, uh, that really made it really, really far, that, that they got a great jobs and even started their own businesses. So that proves that no matter what skills you have, you can still, you can still uh, find a great job uh, as a web developer. So and as long as you put your mind to it. So, you know, it's going to take at least 20 hours per week. So you might have to, you know, uh, not to do certain other activities that you did in the past, but you, what is really important is that, you know, you need to know why you are doing it. So what I would invite you to do is to really think about why you want to become a web developer and really think internally, not that, okay, I want to become a millionaire, I want to earn a lot of money. It's, it's, it's better to think Maybe you want to solve a problem, you know, as a developer, you can build so many great things. There are so many different companies that are working on some great world's problems. So maybe you would like to solve a problem in this world and maybe web development can help you to solve, to solve this problem, you know? So, and whenever you are struggling for the course, whenever you're having challenges, just really come back to that why, why you started this course in the first place. It's really important for you to understand why you're doing it and really think about once you graduate from the course, who you want to be, what would you like to accomplish? And that can really help you along the way when you have that vision in mind, when you know why you're doing what you're doing. Okay, and yes, this was it for me. I really hope all the best in your journeys. And uh, yes, I hope that you will, I we will be seeing you later on, the, on our course. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vaida, for all the information. Uh, 
we started our Facebook live and we're getting one, um, one question drained from Mina Ahmed. So she's asking which English level you need to accept, uh, like which English level we are actually accept accepting for the course. Costas, what would you say to Mina? Um, I think I'm not going to talk uh, now about um, certificates or, you know, like uh, official, let's say, uh, levels. Uh, you must uh, be able to uh, read um, articles like technical articles, let's say, uh, or uh, uh, you can go out and... Um, Try uh, go out and read about articles regarding, let's say, web development. Um, if you go into one of the, these websites and you find yourself like uh, going through the the content in, let's say, an easy manner, if this kind of this level of English seems like familiar to you, if you are like uh, feel comfortable with reading basic technical articles. Um, for example, search for introduction to web development or what is programming. You can find like really good articles. If you go through such an article and you feel comfortable with reading um, this material, then I think you are um, quite ready to to get into the course. Uh, also, uh, you really need to be able to uh, watch um, videos on YouTube or on other platforms that are in English. And uh, most of the times, you uh, you will find that these videos do not have captions. So we don't have like um, uh, transcripts or, or subtitles. So you will really need a good level of um, understanding um, uh, an English speaker uh, or someone speaking in English through a video. So if you feel comfortable with reading technical articles and watching uh, videos, YouTube videos uh, from a uh, person speaking in English, that's what we're uh, asking. That's the, the, the basic, they say. Um, and also, you must be comfortable uh, and uh, you must be able to communicate uh, with your uh, um, level of English uh, because you will be communicating a lot uh, with the instructors, with your classmates. Uh, you will be also presenting sometimes. Uh, there will be short presentations um, from the from the students. So um, I won't be like uh, now talking about uh, certificate levels or something like that. But if you feel comfortable with um, reading, watching videos in English and communicating, have some basic communication skills, uh, you are ready for, for the course. Uh, also, we will be evaluating your level of, of English through your uh, um, through the eligibility form, through the email that we received, through your interview. So, as part of the of the interview, uh, we are also going to evaluate your your level and uh, of uh, of your English. So, uh, you will eventually get a feedback from us uh, in in regards to your like um, level of of um, English speaking, let's say. Cool. I think uh, Mina has now a, a reply to the answer. Uh, you all can follow uh, more information within the document that Costas um, shared with all of you. So far in, uh, in our Facebook Live, we don't have uh, any more questions. Uh, I'm not sure I can read all any more questions on our, on the chat. I'm not receiving any. Let me know if you're saying something. Um... Uh, one one last thing I, I I want to add is that uh, you might be wondering whether you are like uh, you really want to follow the the, the developer's path, and uh, you might be wondering whether you kind of like uh, are going to stick with programming, you are going to like programming. So um, the pre-course is that exactly that uh, test that you uh, might want to take. Uh, the reason, one of the reasons why you we ask from you to take this pre-course and have like uh, go through this Python, this very basic Python programming course is um, to uh, get a first feeling, let's say, of what programming is. And then after you have completed the course, uh, you will be in the place of 
like um, maybe answering this question to yourself. Is this something that uh, inspires me? Is this something that motivates, the, motivates me? Is this something that engages me? Is this something that I find fascinating? Uh, I went to th through some basic programming um, instructions, wrote my first programs, learned a little bit about the concepts. Uh, at that point, you will know if you are fascinated by programming and you are ready to dive even deeper, or maybe you find yourself like you're like, uh, maybe this feels like not the kind of work or the kind of technology or the kind, the kind of skills that you would like to follow. So going through the pre-course is also, um, uh, let's say a test uh, for you to see if and whether you are, uh, you really want to uh, follow this path. Um, So guys, so to follow up with Costas mentioned and to encourage you to join our our eligibility forum and to go through our pre-course to actually check uh, how much you like it, how much you can do it, and to really uh, bust all the myths that Vaida was mentioning, uh, please go through our eligibility forum, start the process, go for this quick interview where you just need to tell us who you are, a little bit about, about you so that we can understand. Don't be afraid if uh, you might think that maybe uh, your English level might not be okay, give it a chance. Um, we will review uh, your videos, we will review uh, the pre-course. And of course, if you have more questions, uh, send, us, uh, send us an email to admissions at socialhackersacademy.org. And we can get back to you there as well. Uh, we have a question from Athena. Uh, the link for the form doesn't seem to work. Um, let me see. Uh, Athena, are you? Uh, let me see. Are you checking the form? Uh, exactly which which link are you? If you can please paste it on our chat, it will be of great yeah, yeah. for us. That's fantastic. Maybe we mistyped something on the... When we were typing it or something like this. Mm -hmm. I also shared a really nice video that I think will uh, inspire you. Uh, it's a true story. So I, I, I um, encourage you to watch it. Uh, Athena, let us know if... Um, also, it would be interesting point. to hear, guys, why why did you decide that you would like to tr have a go and become web developers? Maybe one of you would like to share? Maybe even write in a chat? Uh, video. Okay, uh, Athena found the, the info page, so. Perfect. So it okay. seems that currently it's working. If someone wants to share something, as Vaida mentioned, you're more than welcome. We were very happy to know about, uh, about you, what drove you here, where did you hear, it, uh, hear about us? Um, if you have already started this process and maybe you're having any challenge or any issue that you might want to share, feel free to do that or feel free to uh, write it uh, to the email that we shared in, in the chat if you feel more comfortable doing so. And uh, you can also check, uh, as Vaida mentioned, within our social media, some of our uh, testimonials, some of the stories that our students have shared with us. Uh, so I don't know if any of you, apart from Robert, who joined us at the, at the beginning and uh, actually he got a recommendation from one of our current students, uh, maybe some of you also are here because uh, someone recommended it to you or you are friends with some other um, SHA student, let us know. We will be very happy to know. Uh, Athena asks about um, the people that are eligible for the course, for the scholarship for the course, mm -hmm. to be exact. 
uh, I've just pasted to remind you that when we're talking about vulnerable groups, we're talking about people that are refugees, immigrants, asylum seekers, and unemployed people. Um, so in regards to the answering uh, Athena's question. And just to point out, uh, Costas, to what you were saying now, if uh, when you're doing the eligibility form, uh, it turns out that you're not eligible for a scholarship, please contact us to admissions at socialhackersacademy.org so that we can uh, check your case, understand uh, what's your situation, maybe dig a little bit further on what, uh, what, what drove you there. And, uh, you know, we can reevaluate. So please always, even if you get a, that you're not eligible for our current scholarships, contact us so that we can give you some feedback on the reasons and we can reevaluate um, the situation or understand uh, why in this case we cannot provide you all an, an scholarship. Any more questions from uh, our chat here in Zoom or our Facebook Live? Do we have someone else who would like to share uh, any questions or their information? Okay, so it seems that uh, we can wrap up. I'm sorry, right. maybe uh, Atina, Atina has, uh, has a question. So she had a problem with her card. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not receiving the questions. I don't know in the chat, so I cannot really follow up. Uh, um. I, I will read the question. Yes, I'm unemployed, but due to an error in the uh, the office, the unemployment office, I wasn't able to renew my card, and it started over again. So and I have some months of unemployment. Uh, yes, I uh, I think now uh, if you can prove that you are like unemployed for almost over a month, you you are eligible for the course. Exactly. So, for example, in your case, if you already have another document that proves that you have been already unemployed for uh, this period of time, feel free to submit that. And again, feel free to send us an email to admissions at socialhackersacademy.org so that we remember your case, we have it written, and we can follow up uh, with you on that. Okay. And if you need any support in terms of what kind of documents you need to submit, what, how to get those documents, and you don't really know how to do it, you can also reach out to us and we can support you. Mm -hmm. Cool guys, so I'm just going to uh, remind the steps that uh, uh, were shared by COSAS in order to join us. So first thing, you need to check if you're eligible for a scholarship. You can find the link in our chats. You can also find the link in the document that uh, Costas shared. Uh, once you click it there, you will have to go through different steps and you will be eligible or not eligible. If you are not eligible for this scholarship, please contact us to admissions at socialhackersacademy.org. But if you are eligible, you will receive an email and you have to do a quick automated interview. It's a must to do it, to start the process. It's very short uh, and it won't take you much time. It will help us understand and know more about you. Uh, and once this is done, you will receive an email with the link to the pre-course, which is this pre-course that uh, Costas explained and Costas mentioned that it will really help you to understand uh, how much you like uh, um, coding and programming and so on. Don't be as scared of it as Vida help us to understand that uh, we can fight a lot of those myths. So go and really try it, give it a try. Once you completed this pre-course, you will be able to join uh, our front end course and we will be in contact with you through the whole process. Again, if you have any questions, guys, we are available in our social medias. 
the one that um, Vida mentioned, our Facebook page, Instagram, um, LinkedIn, and also on Twitter. Uh, and well, we are looking forward to get to know you all guys and hear a little bit more about you and hopefully welcome you in the next cohort that starts on March 19th. So if that's everything uh, on your side, uh, Vaida Costas, let me know if there's something else that you would like to add or we can close the... Yes. No, uh, thank you for your interest. Um, thank you for attending everyone. Uh, we hope we hear from you soon and um, see you on our course. Yes, thank you. I also like to say thank you so much for attending. Thank you for making that first step. Um, and uh, if you really try to uh, start this pre-course as soon as possible, because it will take some time to complete. So the sooner you start, the better. Uh, yes, so thank you so much and have a great evening. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so Goodbye. much for thank joining. You. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Now you have all the information to join us in our next cohort. As you know, if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email to admissions at socialhackersacademy.org. Thank you for your interest and follow up on our social media and website for more information.